So, why ROTC? Um, well, actually, when I thought about coming to Western, I didn't really know that ROTC existed, other than what my brother-in-law had told me um, from what he learned going through an ROTC program. So when I first came here, I was mostly just work focused on my education and my opportunities being on the dance team. And then I learned about all the scholarship opportunities, the friends I can make, and the discipline that will be instilled with me through ROTC. So then I uh, went to the recruiter, talked to him about all the opportunities that I could be a part of. And from there, I just decided to try it out my freshman year. And I fell in love with what I was doing. I fell in love with the morals, the values, and everything that this program has to offer. And it also helped that I made my lifelong friends through this program. Um, one of the best friends I made, she's going to be standing up at my wedding. And so I don't know what I would have done without this program. Um, this program also has developed my leadership abilities. I think that when I was in high school and a little bit younger, I was more shy. I always had good ideas in the back of my mind, but I was afraid to say them because I didn't know what other people would think of them. And this program puts you in leadership opportunities. They kind of force you to be in the spotlight and how to react when you're in the spotlight. And so now, as soon as I'm asked, what are we gonna do? I know exactly what I wanna do and I say it and we do it. What kind of leadership opportunities have you had in ROTC? What type of positions have you held? So my leadership started when I was an MS2 or a sophomore, and I was selected to be one of the co-coordinators for our sophomore year project. And so that took on um, coordinating a dodgeball tournament and a game night that is supporting and bringing in funds for the Bronco Battalion. So I had to go through all of the planning for that, getting volunteers, and um, kind of just being the face that people can turn to whenever they have questions for, um, for anything about that. And then going into my MS3 year or my junior year, I was a squad leader, meaning I was in charge of about six to 10 um, MS1s and twos, or freshmen and sophomores. And I was kind of their like direct face when it comes to who was in charge. There were people above me, but I was that first person that they would come to if they had any problems with school, any problems with ROTC, or they just needed someone to talk to. I was that person that was there for them. And then also during my junior year, I held a platoon sergeant position, and that was a little less face-to-face -face connection with the freshmen and sophomores, more of um, like leadership, more responsibilities so if something didn't get done by the squad leaders then it would ultimately come back to me because I didn't tell them to do something or I didn't correctly pass down the information. Um, and then during training exercises I held the platoon leader position which is the main brain behind the different operations so deciding um, how to attack a certain area or what to do during the missions as well as the platoon sergeant which is mostly in charge of uh, numbers of personnel, people, security, uh, kind of things like that. And then when I got into my MS4 year, or my senior year, I was chosen to be the battalion executive officer. Um, and that brought on a lot of new stressors that I hadn't been aware of before. A lot of planning um, for different battalion events that I almost didn't realize were even a thing. <laughs> All of the extra time that brought in, I think I came to battalion to work on different events every single day. There was always something new coming up, always a community event that needed to be planned, a, um, a lab that needed to be planned, something that needed to be done. and. I was also that face that now the cadre was turning to, so if something didn't get done or there were questions about anything, they would be coming to me. I was almost like the bridge between cadets and cadre. If you were talking to somebody who was interested in coming to ROTC, what would you tell them? 
I would tell him to do it. <laughs> Honestly, it seems like so hard and like such a big picture thing that you're a part of, but if you just take it day by day and think about the things that you're a part of, that you're serving for, and the people that you're working with, it's so worth it. Um, it gives you time allotted to work out because nowadays people feel like they don't have enough time to do that and it's scheduled right into your day Monday Wednesday Friday done working out um, and then it just te teaches you to be a part of something bigger than yourself so you're learning about the different operations that are done throughout the army but you're also learning about cultural understanding and different cultures of the people around you and then you're getting to interact with those people so when I got the opportunity to go to advanced camp this summer, I met a lot of different people from different states that were very different from me. And I learned how to interact with them. Even though they're different, we're working towards the same goal and we can accomplish great things.